Alrighty then. So first of all, I have been using Windows 11 for a couple of days, two or three days to be exact. And as you can see, I already have some programs open in the background, right? I have Opera, um, File Explorer, Mail, not Premiere, Xbox Console, Voice Recorder, Settings, and of course, OBS Studio for recording this video. So, what are the changes I have noticed, and what do I like, and what are the bugs, and smallest to smallest details. First of all, as you can see, when I go and click something, let's say this is the new intro for tech expense, right? I go and right click this, and you can see this, right? They've changed this thing a bit I don't know what you call it but they have changed the things that come when you right click something all the functions are there it's just a new coat of paint right as uh, some people would say so options are same you can cut you can copy you can rename share delete all that stuff is still there um, that's good so that's one thing all right then what other youtubers have talked about is this all right the center taskbar and the windows now i watched linus's video and he said that when he went to the like the windows icon and clicked and he started typing to search something the first one or two letters would be missed so now we're going to go ahead and see if that really happens so we're going to click on the start and search for Fusion 360. All right, so this doesn't seem to be happening for me. And also with the past two, three days with uh, Windows 11, I have also noticed some bugs, all right? First bug is when I open Fusion 360, all right? Now, Fusion 360, this takes a bit of time to open and if I get it to open then that's good there are some glitches right like if I open Fusion 360 one time it just suddenly closed the Fusion 360 program so I've noticed that bug and then with Premiere Pro when I try to change the tab from like editing to color I notice that it isn't moving and then I think that, okay, maybe my computer is not responding, but that's not the case as other controls are working just fine. Now you can see over here, it shows me education license, right? And now I am in. It's taking a bit, it's taking a second. So you can see the process into going Fusion 360 has slowed down a bit, but I can see that Fusion 360 is also affected by the Windows 11 software updates like you see this this thing over here right so let's say I make a change okay let's, I'm just gonna move this panel over here uh, all right I do that now when I go to save here even in this app there are rounded corners here here and even the ok and cancel options are rounded and that is super cool so i do expect and in some apps some things are gonna change and become rounded as well but uh, only time can tell and now if i go into the file explorer right you can see new icons does this help no but if i go and select something right now or just leave it like that. You can see there's a new, there are, there's like a new set of paint over here. There are just the same options there were in File Explorer from Windows 10. It's just rearranged, right? And I'm not saying that this looks bad. This actually looks better to me, but it could take some getting used to. Like, Whenever I used to 
want when I wanted to see specs of other people's PCs and laptops, what I would do is go to this PC, right click and go to properties. Properties would be right at the bottom. Now it will take me a second to adjust and click over here to view my PC specs. And yeah, that's that. And another thing I've noticed is that when you go into like the Xbox console companion, they haven't changed a thing. I don't find options for auto HDR. Is it like when I launch any game, it shows up or does it just happen automatically? I didn't even find any option in the settings related to auto HDR. Wait, let me show you. Okay. Auto HDR. No. Now if I go into graphics settings, all I get is this. I don't get any option to disable or enable HDR. You know, the, for the people who have HDR displays, it's gonna look better, the games, but for the people who don't have HDR displays, it's gonna look a bit worse. So yeah, keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. Also, snap layout, right? So let's let's see how that works. So all I need to do for snap layout is just get two windows, hover, okay, not here. Yeah, and then I could choose this over here and let's say I want to put Fusion 360 like that. Okay, the windows too big. I'll put uh, Okay, I'll just put voice recorder, right? A boom. I got this. I mean, it's basically easier than it was in Windows 10. If you wanted to do it in Windows 10, you, you had to click on the tabs option or on the Windows tab. Now Windows tab is gone. I click on Windows tab, this is what happens. And there is an option to do it in, in like the old way, but nothing over here, right? At least when I hover over the options, right? I get the option to like choose apps, right? But that didn't happen in Windows tab sometimes. But now with this feature being there, I don't think anyone's going to use Windows tabs. But yeah. Now, even if for the smallest to smallest settings, like if you, if I go to Alt tab, right? It's shortcut. Even this is rounded. All this is rounded. I love this, all right? I love the changes they've made. I always like changes and you know, it just kind of, it just gets a little bit boring if they don't change it for a while. And certainly there are widgets, alright? Now if I go to widgets, wait a second, yeah, bugs. Yeah, here it comes. Wait a sec. And, yep. I could add widgets, all right. Let's say I wanna add a calendar widget, all right, I could do that. But aside from well, with seeing widgets, I could also see news, right? It's not like I'm interested in news, but the option is there. And another thing about Windows 11 is that this I need to go to all apps to see in Windows 10 it was way easier that's the only bad thing because because like in Windows 10 it used to be like this side search a few apps tiles and you just kind of, kind of scroll to see all the apps I rarely did that but now I feel like that was important and yeah, these are the bugs I have noticed with Windows 11. Another bug I noticed with Windows 11 is that when I first installed Windows 11 and went to the desktop, which is this puppy right here, um, I had a kind of watermark saying 
activate windows right over here all right when i already have a product key and my windows is activated so all it took me to get rid of that problem was restart the pc and a boom now no watermark cool and uh yeah so that's that all right so the shoot of this video has stretched into day two and I can again see the activate windows watermark my windows is already activated what the hell but still I have way lesser bugs than I could have expected all right <clears throat> way lesser bugs than I would have expected so that's good and since I use this device okay so the day I'm recording this video, it's been about four to five, this clip, it's been about four to five days since I started using Windows 11 and I used my PC, this one, for more than 12 hours a day, you know, even for studying, uh, playing games, obviously, watching TV, basically everything I do, I do on this PC. Hmm? In fact, I even type notes instead of writing them down in a notebook, like, what is this? 2019 anyways so another thing is now if you come to the taskbar right you can see over here now it's basically a fresh layer of paint so over here it's kind of like how it is in like a smartphone this over here this layout it's a bit bigger Microsoft was saying that it should be easier to hit with your hand by hitting the mean touch. But then please explain the small icons. I mean, granted, this is not in tablet mode. So yeah, because this is not a tablet. You also got focus assist. You know, one thing really irritating about Windows 10 was that when I would go into like any um Let's say I'm watching Netflix and I go full screen, right? It automatically goes into do not disturb. Only alarms will get through. All the no other notifications will be muted. I've sometimes wanted that, right? And other stuff like too, right? Like when I'm studying, I don't want any other thing uh, disturbing me uh, because I'm just not that great at paying attention when it comes to studies. And you know, I would not find the option over here and then I thought maybe I would tell Cortana but this is what Cortana would say. Hey Cortana. Turn on do not disturb. Sorry, I couldn't find do not disturb settings you for you. Sorry, I couldn't find do not disturb settings for you. This is really irritating. Now, as you can see here, the recording of this video is going on in OBS Virtual Studio and now I'm going to explain Snap Layout. I don't know if this is a, this is only in beta or this is applicable to other apps as well. So let me just, uh, okay, I'm going to choose this Microsoft Store right here. So yes, new layout, I'm going to come to that in a second. So now if I want to do snap layout, right? Like how they very coolly show sh uh, showed in the launch event. If I do like this, it comes. But if I do over here, it comes too. Oh, maybe that was just a bug. But for me, it has happened two, uh, two or three times before when there are like two apps open like this and I go on one, it doesn't give me option. I go to the other and it gives me other option. Plus, you don't need to always hover and select. You can also like do like this. It's automatically suggesting what you want to do. So let's say I want to split screen, right? But I don't want to do like this. Let's say it takes a lot of time. Now I can go choose which side if I want here or here and just drop it. And now it's going to let me choose the app. And a boom. Okay, this app is too big. So I can again just go snap and it's gonna let me choose. Okay. Alright, see that's there. That's so that's that's actually good. That's a great improvement. 
Now coming to the Microsoft Store. Um, this is obviously beta, so I I don't see any options for Amazon App Store. I can even search and show you that you Amazon App Store. And loading, loading, loading. No, nothing. And it took so much time, right? I mean, I am running a fast connection over here, right? Which should be fast enough for even 4K video watching. And trust me, I've tested that. And yeah, aside from a fresh layer of paint, it's basically the same thing, right? Uh, there's nothing new in this except for that. Even gaming choices are still very less. Right. And uh, yeah, you know what I do want in this Microsoft Store right here? I want Valorant, alright? Valorant, Fortnite, and I want Rocket League. All the popular games which are played should be available over here. Except well, just Roblox and Minecraft. People play, at least what, uh, on what I've seen, people play more Valorant, Fortnite, um, Rocket League, at least more than Roblox, right? So yeah, that's good. Now widgets, right? Um, YouTube, YouTube will have talked like if I have to swipe from here. Um, you could also just go and yeah, uh, it's not a big up. That's not a big upgrade for me. I'm never going to use one of these widgets. I'm honest over here because I mean there are not many options for widgets even then if there were I'm not going to use widgets right yeah but one of the basic things I think they should have solved is this has even been there in Windows 10 Windows 8 and I think even in 7 right let me let me open stats of Windows game bar right here so let's go and Performance. Let's go ahead and minimize that and let's spin it. Alright, so now you can see this. Let me check OBS. Oh, you can't see the stats. Too bad. Anyways, I'm still just gonna put it on the top right. So now if I go and right, my CPU is sitting right now. There are so many apps open at about 31%. So now I'm gonna open um, Opera. I'm gonna put this like here. And now I'm gonna do this. Just this. Now I'm gonna watch how the CPU percentages and the GPU percentages ramp, ramp up. Alright, shaky, shaky. 70% GPU at 100 integrated. Okay, CPU at 80 now, stabilizing at 75, see, and now I'm going to stop this, alright, stop, alright, now my CPU is at 38%, 44, 36, and 20, a boom, that's the thing, that's the problem right here, I mean, why do I need to ramp up CPU for this? I mean, just fix it. Also, one more thing. It's basically... Now, if I go right click and just go to device manager, right? Uh, yeah. So, we are in device manager right now. And as you can see, there is no change. There are no changes to the layout, except except for rounded corners rounded corners that the best you can do i mean i know people rarely come into device uh, manager i mean yeah but you, if you can do all this and then well all the snap layout thing of my bob and new startup thing of my bob you could have done this don't tell me that it's not possible 
Alright. Also, what's with the new animations? I know it look looks good, you know. Uh, minimizing and putting it up back again and all that stuff. It's really interesting and I could watch this the whole day. But just think of this as long term, right? If you are using a laptop right now and it supports Windows 11 and you and after you get it, let's say three years later, right? In I don't know in the US, but in India, people usually use their laptops for more than three years. I know people who are who have been using their MacBooks for six, seven, or even eight years. All right. Uh, there's a kid in my building, actually two kids who use their mom's or dad's old MacBook and it's very old, 2012, 13. But anyways, if I have, I have a PC, not a Mac, and just look at the long-term effect. Don't you think all these animations and stuff are gonna put at least some minor weight of, uh, minor weight on your GPU or CPU? I mean, right now I can't notice it, but I might in long term, right? So is there like an option that I could turn off these animations? Because I'm pretty sure people with potato PCs would agree with me right here. Don't forget, I used to be a potato PC user and I had all these troubles with these animations, you know, I mean, there weren't many in Windows 10, but they never really worked out so well. You know, so I had to go and pick each one of them and uh, disable them in the settings, right? But uh, so far in the settings, I did not find the option to turn off these effects and animations. Okay, not really animation, you know, it's this kind of growing thing. I don't, what if I don't want it, right? What if I'm irritated or what if two, three years later, it's slow? Right, and I mean, I could save a lot, a bit of performance with turning down these effects, but so far I haven't found the option to do that. And yeah, that's that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I will be making a video about Windows 11 gaming on Windows 11 with Auto HDR with a friend of mine, and uh, yeah, you can see that. Too. and yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching please like share and do not go without subscribing share this with your tech savvy friends um uh, tech expense for the tech savvy